Ever since I was a little boy, I've been passionate about saving and educating people about our wildlife. A sparkle was lit in my eye by the late, great Steve Irwin. That sparkle is something I will always be thankful for. I hope to create the same sparkle for many others. You're watching the Ernster Sanctuary. How's it going guys? This is Adam from the Ernster Sanctuary here. And today I have another uh, iguana unboxing for you guys. This is actually a really cool iguana. So I got this guy from Tide Park in Florida. And yeah, this should be a really great addition. It's just a baby now, but in a couple years it will be awesome. Hey, little guy. Look at that thing. Oh, he's kind of gray. He's gray. Gray green. So this is a translucent iguana. As of right now, there's only a few of these in the world. Wow, he's really cool. So it's like a gray, purpley green color, and I have no idea what these guys are going to look like as adults if nobody's had one before. So, you know, we'll see what happens. What are the parents? What are the color of the parents? The parents are normal. Normal what? green, apparently. Well, how do you get that out of a normal green iguana? It's, uh, that's what's so rare about it. It's just an unusual genetic mutation. Huh. He's cool. He's cool. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. and uh, <laughs> Well, uh, I'll show you the next video of him in his cage. Alright guys, so now that we've unboxed our translucent iguana, this is the current setup I have him in. This is a 16 by 16 by 20 Reptibreeze enclosure made by Zoomed. It's perfect for baby iguanas. You could probably fit two or three hatchlings in here. It's perfect size for that. As you can see, my misting system just went on. So it's missing his cage and also this cage next to him. If you saw my post on Instagram, I have another one of these cages. It's 4 by 2 by 2 which I keep. Uh, my albino and some heads in. Sadly, my tortoise uh, rammed through it, so these guys are just in a tank for now. They won't be like this for long. They'll get some sun here when I, once I get them a better cage, but you know, as you can see, both these cages have this misty, misting system. Monsoon RS400 by Exoterra. Um, as you can see, you have a cycle setting. You know, it cycles every two hours, as you can see the knobs on the two hours. So every two hours it will go on. It goes on for about 30 seconds. Anyways, back to the translucent. This cage is very easy to move around. You know, I can move this outside when I want him to get some sun, which he was outside pretty much this whole day, but I just moved him in because it's starting to get a little bit later. So here he has a dual heat bulb. It's a UVB 5.0 and, uh, and just a nighttime heat bulb. As you can see, he's pretty much eaten all of his dinner. There was some collard greens, some mustard greens, and some hibiscus leaves and flowers in there. He's pretty much eaten it all. Here's his water bowl. The basic setup, cocoa husk, cocoa fiber on the bottom. Uh, he has this ladder to climb up, which is his basking spot also. He has his vine and then some uh, foliage to you know, make him feel a little bit more safe. And so if we open this thing up, you can probably fit about two or maybe three hatching iguanas in here. As you can see, I have uh, pretty much everything zip tied so it doesn't move around. It's very easy with these enclosures. You just kind of stick it through the side. You know, It's an awesome way to get your enclosure looking nice. As you can see, here's our little dude. Basking right now. You know, it's, these, guys, these guys are just such awesome iguanas, you know, there's not many of these guys around. You know, again, shout out to Ty Park, really hooked me up with this little guy. A beautiful iguana. I can't wait to see what this guy turns into. You know, he's only a baby right now. But yeah, he's an awesome addition, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, concerns, or anything like that for this video, just let me know. I'm always answering questions down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So yeah, guys, now I'll leave you with uh, some clips of this enclosure outside. <laughs>